everyone, it's Tyler with Grey Trunk RFID. Today we're going to cover the anatomy of an effective mobile RFID asset tracking system and really help you decide uh, if a mobile RFID asset tracking system is right for your organization. But before we get started, could you please click below, hit the red subscribe button below our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to have videos coming out on a regular basis to help you understand RFID asset tracking and asset tracking in general. So with that, we're going to jump into the details, the components of a mobile RFID asset tracking so you can get a better understanding and have a good education on if mobile RFID asset tracking is right for your organization. We have three main components of a mobile RFID asset tracking system. You first have the RFID tags, you then have the RFID handheld readers, and then you also have your RFID software which runs on a mobile app. We'll get into all three of these later, but first we're going to talk about the RFID tags. RFID tags come in many shapes and sizes. I have a few here to show you. Um, and if you look at the back, there's an antenna that is the RFID antenna there. That's how we capture the data. So these smart tags are placed on your assets uh, and they can come in many different shapes and sizes and there's also a lot of different um, questions that you have to ask yourself in choosing the proper RFID tag. You need to know if you have a size restriction. You need to know what the read range that you're looking for. The larger the tag usually results in a larger read range. However, not all assets have that big of a space to put a tag, so you really have to determine how far of a read range you really want to achieve when you are doing your RFID asset inventories. You also need to know what surface you are applying the tags to. One of the main questions that we're going to ask is what the surface of the asset is. If it's metal, there's a special metal on metal RFID tag that you need to use in order for that tag to be read since metal really interferes with your radio frequency identification. Our friends over at Metalcraft have a great assortment of RFID tags that can be customized to fit your specific needs. Uh, they have specialists in RFID that really help you understand what tags are best for your application. So I would highly suggest you head on over to www.idplate.com, check out what they have, reach out to one of their specialists. Uh, our specialists here at Great Chunk RFID can also help you with that. The second major component of a mobile RFID asset tracking system is your RFID handheld reader. To capture the RFID tag data, you have to have a specialized reader that connects to your mobile device. This handheld unit here is a TSL-1128. On the front, you can see that the square is actually an antenna. This activates the RFID tags and captures the data through radio frequency. There are a couple different options for RFID handheld readers. You first have the TSL-1128, and you also have the Zebra RFD-8500. These two devices are Bluetooth enabled. Both are very similar in read range performance, but they do an incredible job of capturing the data within the read range of your RFID tags. As you can see, these handheld devices do not have a computer, so they utilize your mobile app's operating system to interpret the data. The third and final component of your mobile RFID asset tracking system is of course the software. The software pulls it all together. As you can see on the screen here, this is an example of a mobile RFID asset tracking app. Using all the pieces that we have used in the past that we discussed about the RFID tags and the RFID reader, this is the software that can pull it all together. As you can see, you can easily connect your RFID mobile handheld reader to the app and perform inventory scans very easily. You would choose the site and location that you are doing the inventory at. I'll do the gray trunk office here and I'll start my scan. With just the pull of the trigger, I'm able to capture many assets throughout my office instantly with the advantage of the RFID technology. As soon as it's all done, you can easily interpret the data, all the found assets, all the missing assets, and any misplaced assets, 
as well as new assets that you can easily add to your asset tracking inventory. I hope you all have a better understanding of a mobile RFID asset tracking system. The three main components for review are your RFID tags, your RFID hardware, and your RFID software. Those three main components will give you your overall asset tracking solution.